Yeah, cool. Um, so I picked an album. It's a little bit newer. I don't even know if it fits in the classic, but it came out about three years ago, so I guess it counts. Um, it's called The Grand Mirage by this guy named Robotaki. He's a um, he's a DJ in um, California somewhere. Um, and just starting off, it was really cool to listen to um, that last album that I can't pronounce um, and like kind of <laughs> see how that like influenced stuff like this, um, you know, 10 years later or 20 years later, sorry. Um, but yeah, so whenever whenever it gets to like the dog days of summer, I, I kind of turn into like a more electronic love and party boy that like likes this kind of stuff more. <laughs> um so this is a this i kind of stumbled upon this album and um just thought that like as as a whole like listening to it as a whole it just stood out to me as a really great piece of work it was just just so well produced um like every single song and it, and it it really like skips between different styles it has a bunch of different um kind of vocalists um and then as well some more like soundscapey songs some more songs that are just purely um electronic um so it it's it's a it's a really fun album to just kind of, like, kind of toss on while the sun is shining maybe while, while you're like hanging out at the pool um and uh yeah it's just it's it's awesome i have a lot of these songs on my like summer playlist i, I really loved um holding on it's it's poppy and feel good and, and it's just great and it makes you makes you feel great um i really like los angeles i thought the vocals on that song are awesome um, and I really liked um, Quasar. Quasar is like a more electronic, non like all instrumental song um, that really kind of takes you through a um, a wide range of emotions. It, it it makes you feel, I feel like, towards the end. So this is a fun album. I feel I feel like would be like a great with any of these songs would like play summertime in a club or something, or if you're like I don't know at that pool party in Vegas where everyone's like doing molly or whatever like that'd be this would be a fun <laughs> album to like toss on there too so um yeah it, it kind of different from what from what i usually listen to here but um i really like it i really like listening to it so curious to um hear what you guys think yeah this is uh this is pretty different from the rest i mean i think all of our albums were pretty different in their own corners but i think matt and lauren they had their own like you know very rock albums and our albums were a little bit more laid back a little bit more uh m mood rather than like big hooks and and uh like big guitars and stuff like that um but i really like this um i really liked now that we've been in love because it's like it's like a sort of like an r&b but like very electro electronic r&b which you don't hear very much um and i think he does i i don't know i've never heard of any of these features before um i've also never heard of robotaki but i think I, I think the I was not a big fan of Dreamcatcher. I feel like the vocalist kind of Miko, um, he sounded like very modern pop. You know that he's got that voice, right? But I think all <laughs> of the rest of the features on this, I really like Los Angeles. Um, Pell, I would actually listen to more Pell because I think, you know, he's a great vocalist. I thought Billboard was a really good feature. Um, but I think the the DJ Robotaki doesn't really matter what genre it is. I think they do a very very good job of elevating their features and and building a song around them. Um, but I think Quasar was my favorite song. Like you said, it's just a you know really solid electronic song that takes you to like a bunch of different places. It's like almost lo-fi hip hop, but it's definitely like a little bit more upbeat than that. I I was a fan of this one. I like this. I like this album nice um yeah this was cool um yeah I, I think like like half of the time it was working for me you know like I, I think like it's not like what's good about it it's not like mindless electronic pop you know it felt like it had some you know different elements sprinkled in to each song which made it an album listening experience great <laughs> which can be you know if you're listening to it all like electronic like EDM kind of party pop and molly vibe for like an hour it could be kind of exhausting <laughs> so thank god it was like that for me but um yeah the one song that i wrote down was los angeles so i think we're all in agreement there that's the banger <laughs> um but yeah i it had just good elements you know funk going on um 
yeah, it's it, it's a good way. It's pretty much how you described it. Just good summer, you know, pop it on, good vibes. I I I don't know if I can really relate to um, you know, the Roosevelt was it Roosevelt we saw at um that bar? Uh, yeah, right town. It it kind of yeah. reminded. It, I don't know if it really sounds like Roosevelt, but it kind of felt like the vibe when we were in there. That kind of electronic, you know, vibe. Yeah. It's it's not super in your face kind of electronic music, but it's it's a it's a good vibe. It's 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 positive, fun, not too intense. Anyway, also I, I wrote down that he's from Toronto. Is he from Toronto or I don't know? Oh, I don't know. You're probably right. <laughs> You're probably right. Not that I throw it in there just in case, you know, somebody watches and be like, hey, where is this guy from? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But all anyway. the all the Robotaki he heads are gonna come out of the woodwork here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like an army of like robots. <laughs> if it, I, I only said that because it feels like something you'd hear at like I feel like he would like play at Coachella, you know. Like you would hear yeah. this guy at Coachella. So cool. Yeah. He'd be at the he'd be at the Perry's booth at Lollapalooza for sure. Yeah. 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 Just gonna just gonna touch on uh, Tim and Matt some more, which is you know, you know, I definitely think the production is really really solid. Um, yeah. Again, this just feels like great sort of summertime. You know, lo- love the aspects of funk and and soul in there. Um, the the electronic part. While well, I'm not super familiar with a lot of like sort of, would that be like a, more like house music or? Uh, like like the electronic sort of aspects, um, I, I clueless, but um, they they weren't super like with with EDM. It sometimes gets really screechy and sort of like sounds like Transformers battling each other. Um, yeah, no, you know, in this in this album, it really was melodic and and rhythmic and actually elevated the album in my opinion. So you just sort of had all these really cool sort of genre elements here. And uh, I thought it really worked. They, not something I would necessarily gravitate towards just naturally, but that's part of what I love about this club is that it just sort of, you know, it, it gave me an album that I wouldn't necessarily seek out. And I got to appreciate it from beginning to end. Um, it was really cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I, not something I would necessarily pick out, but I really enjoyed hearing all those different elements and um, and getting a chance to just really appreciate this as sort of a summer listen uh, so yeah, I mean, I don't know if I have anything else, but it, it just really worked from from beginning to end. I think. <clears throat> yeah, good oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. I've I've pulled a lot of the songs from this album to put on like my like pool playlist and like stuff like that, and they seem to seem to go go over well with the people. A good album to be like for someone to be like, oh, like what song is this? And you'd be like, oh yeah, this is Robo Taki, bro. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's uh? Do you have a rating for it? Um, I'll give it an eight and a half out of ten. I I, I really like it. It's it's good. It, I don't think it's like anything groundbreaking, but um, it just sounds <laughs> real good on my ear holes, you know. So, eight and a half out of ten. Fair enough. 